popped into Tesco this morning and they got all this lamb left over from Easter. Look at the price. The yellow sticker action was £12.63. I managed to get it for £4.79. <laughs> it's more like it. Look at that. It's like a nice piece as well. Isn't it? A decent leg. We've got uh, 0.9 of a kilogram of lamb here. So what I'm going to try and do is air fry it. So I'm going to wrap it in foil. Well, actually, first I'm going to take it out. I'm going to put some salt on it, some black pepper. And I'm going to wrap it in foil and shove it in there. The actual cooking instructions says do for six minutes per 100 grams medium or eight minutes per 100 grams well done. Now I'm a well done kind of person, as you probably noticed from the Wagyu. So I'll be doing it for eight minutes per 100 grams. And it says based occasion with cooking juices. So we'll see how that goes as well. Right, let's get on with it. So firstly, let's get some foil out. Right, let's get this thing open. Okay, let's season it up. Okay, that's been salt and peppered on all sides. Time to wrap it up. The cooking instructions do specify to cover it loosely in foil. So I don't think this little hole is gonna make much difference. So I'm gonna shovel in the air fryer now and do it for about 70 to 75 minutes. So it's had 55 minutes in the air fryer. Now I'm gonna remove the foil and do it for a further 20 minutes. All right, I'm just gonna give my meat a bit of a rest because it's had a good old seeing too. Now we'll have a closer look at it. All right, so here's the finished article after 10 minutes of resting. Time to cut into it and see if it's worked. It's looking pretty good from here. I do like it well done. The tiny bit of pink here and the fat. A little bit crispy on top. But the proof will be in the tasting. So let's give it a go. I've got to say, it smells magnificent. I'm going to give a bit of the outside edge a try first. Right, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's really nice. <laughs> the amount of salt and pepper I lashed on the outside of this thing has really helped. I'm gonna get a piece of that fat now on this bit, this is what that's like. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. Yeah, <clears throat> I prefer it with a bit of the fat on it because obviously it adds to the overall flavour. This is lovely. What I'm going to do, I've just got this weird idea because I do like steak and cheese and I just wondered what lamb and cheese might be like. So I'm actually going to get a bit dirty. Let's 
So I'm going to take a piece of this dairy lee cheese. It's the first time that's happened. It's, it's one of these for me. It would, be, it would be today, wouldn't it? Okay. Now, let's get a bit of that lamb <laughs> in the cheese, like that. Bolding over. And we'll see what that's like. Oh. <laughs> I haven't put cheese with lamb before, but I'm going to put cheese with lamb again. That is delicious. Now it tastes like really well seasoned, cheesy lamb. Oh God, I can't tell you how good that tastes. Mm. What I'll do with the rest of this is what my old man used to do with the lamb. I'm going to carve it up and then I'm going to warm it back up again later in a saucepan full of gravy. It tastes marvellous that way. But I'm well happy with that lamb and I'm truly content to my last cheesy meaty bite. Mm. Oh. So Tesco leg of lamb, really nice thing, especially for that price. Fantastic job. <laughs> nice one. So I'm going to be eating lamby later with me boy. I'm going to clatter the rest of that. Anyway, thanks for coming. Till next time, get out of here. So I'm just going to give a bit of the outer edge a bit. Of... I've got to say, it smells magnificent. Yeah. I'm going to give a bit. <laughs> I don't like it pink. Or. <sighs> so. Tesco Legoland.